Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. A very interesting paper was published this week in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute looking at the potential impact of screening over many years of it being done. The authors traced back the new cancers that were diagnosed as a consequence of PSA testing. And they also made some calculations of the estimated number of lives saved during that period of time. What they found was that there was an excess of more than one million cancers that were added to the diagnosis that would not have been diagnosed had PSA not been used. And at the same time, they estimated that approximately 55,000 men were spared of dying of the disease. And so the authors then made their overall calculations to say or to ask, what was the overall impact as a result of PSA testing? And yes, it clearly is dropping the mortality. It did prevent men from dying of the disease. But it did so at the cost of over-treating the disease in a great number of men. Based on their calculations, they are estimating that for every life saved, about 19 other men had to be treated of the, for the disease. That translates into about 5% benefiting. And so this leaves a very confusing message for the general public. PSA testing can save lives. We've had two other studies that were published in May that showed that there was also a benefit from screening, or at least one of them showed that, but it was a small benefit. This further gives us, gives us further evidence about the overall impact of that practice. And it clearly says to the public, look, there is a chance of benefiting, but there is a downside to the whole process. And ultimately, each individual is going to have to weigh their choices and consider whether the odds of benefiting are worth the odds of getting a treatment they could have avoided, or the odds of potentially getting a side effect that may affect them for the rest of their lives. So once again, this is one more piece of evidence that says very clearly that the benefit that has been said out there for many years is being overestimated from screening and from treatment. On the other hand, there clearly is a benefit. And patients need to get that information and incorporate it into their own value system as they sort out how to proceed here. Some men will say, yes, I don't care how small the odds are, I want to get diagnosed and treated. And other men may say, my quality of life is excellent now, for a very small chance of benefit, one in 20, I don't believe that it's worth it for me to go through that whole process and take on those risks. Hopefully this information will be useful to you. Thank you.